What's up, y'all? Welcome back to another video. My name is Miles out of Dallas, Texas, and today we are taking a look at this 2022 Keystone Montana High Country 295RL. This is going to be the more quick walkthrough of this RV. I also uploaded another walkthrough of this RV that is much more lengthy and detailed. If you're looking for further information regarding it, you can find the link down below in the description to that, or there will be a little box that pops up in the corner of the screen there. So go check that out if you want to see this RV in further detail, but this is going to be the quick walkthrough. So let's start with going around the front cap here, a really nice looking decal design that you have on here. You have two docking lights here on each side, plus the light above the Montana logo there. This is a glass windshield there. So an automotive grade glass windshield, super dark tint on it. So during the day, you really cannot see into there. I can barely see the puck lights that are up on the ceiling in there, but that's about it. So really dark tinted windshield. You also have the patented hitch vision plate from Keystone. So as you're backing your truck up, if you're doing it yourself, you're gonna be able to see how your hitch is aligning and your truck aligning with that pin box there. It's a really nice feature there making your life easier. Also have this light here to help show what you're doing here in this space if you are setting up your fifth wheel hitch in a darker condition. You're going to have the Road Armor pin box. So this is going to be a about one inch thick rubber bushing here that absorbs a lot of shock as this pivots back and forth, giving you a smoother ride. And that will be working in unison with the Road Armor suspension system that is um, between your tires there, we'll look at in just a second, going to give you six inches of travel, three inches up and three inches down on that Road Armor suspension system. Two awnings on the outside, so almost complete awning coverage on your campsite of this RV. Absolutely love that. And you do have the LED light strips up against the sidewall, meaning you'll be able to use those LED light strips whether your awning is in or out, you will get access to those. Some manufacturers, they do put the LED light strip in this arm right here, meaning you only get access to them when your awning is open versus this, you get them whether it's open or closed. You will be able to adjust the pitch of these awnings pulling up or down on that arm there. So you can adjust the pitch of that or set the height to a different height. Two outside speakers, and then you're going to have the large straight pass-through storage compartment underneath here. Could mount a TV to this wall here that will pivot out and rotate, have the electrical plug and solar capacity there to be able to do that. Welded um, aluminum framing welded on both sides of the framing. So welded on this side and that side of every frame connection. And you have a wrapped sub flooring underneath there as well. You're going to have 30 pound pro paint bottles on both sides of the RV. I'm getting used to doing these faster walkthroughs. It's like, I really, really like doing the more detailed walkthroughs, but doing the fast stuff, it's like, I feel like I'm rushing. So trying to get better at that and not sound too rushed as I'm going through it. Coming down underneath here, you have some nice wheels on this Montana, and then this is the six inch of travel road armor suspension system there. Three inches of travel up and three inches of travel down, giving you a nice suspension system. You're also gonna have a four point auto leveling system. So that is your one and on the other side, your other um, stabilizer jack for the auto leveling down before, or sorry, after the axles. And then you have your two up front there as well. So electric auto leveling, also see your spare tire down underneath there as well. And then coming to the back wall, you have a ladder to get up onto the roof, prep for a backup camera there as well. And you have a 3000 pound towing hitch right here. Now up on the roof, if you want to see me get up on the roof, go to the longer form video, but you do have 400 Watts of solar. So you have a 200 watt panel right there. And on the other side, there's another 200 watt panel. So not only is that going to keep your batteries charged, but you're also going to be able to run some outlets inside the RV. Plus you'll see when we go inside, every single light is on inside this RV and has been for about an hour now, all running off the solar with no battery hooked up. So something that you can do with the 400 watt system that you can't do in a 200 watt system or obviously a no solar system is run all of the lights and not have them dim out on you without having that 400 watt system or without having a battery like I have it set up now. Going to have one dump station area here. So that is your black and gray tank. It's all gonna dump out of that one spot. And then underneath here, you do have an enclosed underbelly. So all of your water tanks and water lines are sitting above the insulation in this underbelly here. So when you have your furnace on, they're in the same cavity as the furnace. So they will get radiant heat from that furnace. But you also have 12 volt heat pads on all of your water tanks. So you can turn on giving them an electric heat source. So they don't freeze when you're going down the road or while you're out at your campsite sewer storage hose compartment. And then you're going to have 
open this up. All of your water station hookups right there. Power cord and access on your other side to the storage compartment. Strut assisted here so it'll stay up on its own. Slide out mechanisms on your bigger slides are going to be the rack and pinion style slide outs here. And then on your smaller slide outs, you will have the Schwintech slide out mechanism. And you can see this is kind of an extended slide out. So we'll take a look at that on the inside. Your auto leveling controls right here on the outside. And then finally, trying to get inside as fast as I can. You have the upgraded solar charge controller as a part of that 400 watt system. So this is bigger than what comes in the 200 watt solar system from Keystone since all of their trailers come with at least 200 watts of solar. This one has 400 watts so you get that bigger solar charge controller. 2000 watt inverter for your residential fridge and then battery disconnects here. Plus you have this big open storage space all next to it to use for storage. Little light here too so you can see what you're doing. All right, going inside, you have the solid step coming in and out, so that makes contact with the ground, doesn't shake the whole trailer as you're going in and out, and has the grip tape there for added safety. This is a Four Seasons coach, so this is going to have everything you need to live in it full time as far as the climate control goes. And again, like I was talking about with the 400 watt solar system, everything is on in here and has been for at least an hour now as I made the longer video prior to making this video. And everything is still running just fine. And you can see this is a pretty traditional style floor plan in this Montana, but I really like it because it's not too heavy. Um, the exact weight of this trailer here, dry is 11,780 pounds. So easily three quarter ton towable by most three quarter ton trucks out there. And you have your dinette table here with four seats. They are going to have a backrest that is padded and obviously the butt pad that's padded there. Some fifth wheels do not have any padding on their dinette chairs, so nice to have that. Big windows all the way around and then you will have pull down blackout shades on all of your windows. But big windows that go all around. You're going to have recliner seats here with this cup holder part that does pull out so you can turn that into sort of a love seat put that back in and then they will be electric recliners. So they will recline with these buttons here. I actually think I forgot to mention that in the longer form video, but three cushion sofa right there. And that is going to pull out to a king size bed if you do need the bed space as well. But I love that it's a three cushion sofa so you could stretch all the way across it, even if you're tall like me. Outlets and USB ports here along the wall. You're gonna have storage up above your sofa space here that is all unobstructed all the way through. Have your TV here and then sound controls and fireplace that is an electric heat source so you don't have to run propane to get heat out of the fireplace. Have your sound controls underneath there and a spot for different accessories and appliances with, uh, or electronic devices I should say, with your TV not appliances. Really big storage compartment up above the TV. This goes about probably 12 to 14 inches back. So a nice big space there. You do have storage behind the TV as well. So all that storage space back there. In the kitchen, nice setup. You have this suburban oven, which is a really large oven. Can definitely fit a turkey in there. Surprised to see that in this Montana high country since Montana high country is the little brother to the Montana and surprised to see they went with the big oven option in there. I'm really glad that they did that. You have outlets on both sides of your three burner cooktop. As you see there, nice glass cover on top. Storage deep next to the microwave here. Another pretty deep spot above the microwave and you have the GE residential size microwave. For your island, it is a solid surface countertop. So again, another nice feature in the price point of this RV. Speaking of price point, the MSRP on this is 99,000. So we'll be able to sell it for under 80,000, not sorry, not under 80,000, probably under 90,000. I don't know exactly where the price point will land that we can sell this thing. But I do know if you contact me at the number on the screen, I am in a sales position and I can personally assist you in helping you make this RV yours or setting up a time with you to come take a look at it in person. So you can text me at the number on the screen there. I will get you the best price that I possibly can on this fifth wheel. 
And comparing this to like the model next to us, the Montana 3121 RL, which is the big brother, the big brother to this, to this, wow, I could not say that sentence to save my life. That is gonna be an MSRP price of 120,000. So we're looking at about a $20,000 difference here, which is what gets me so excited about this one because I think it is just so practical and someone's gonna fall in love with this for the price point that it's at. I am just sure of it because I know I am. The more I look at this thing and I'm like, wow, it's $20,000 less than the Montana right next to me and it's pretty much the same thing. Not the same thing exactly, but the same floor plan. I'm like, man, this, is, this really makes a lot of sense to me. Two outlets on the island. You're going to have a bright white LED light strip underneath there as well, plus an LED light strip in the, above the light fixture there. Nice looking light fixtures for those that hang down, and then you do have the ceiling fan here as well. A residential air filter in the AC, plus it is a dual ducted AC system, and these Coleman Mott Q-Series ACs are 12 decibels quieter than your standard AC system, so really quiet. You have um, vents that run down both sides of the trailer, so double the amount of air coming out. Good amount of storage here in the island kitchen area. Plus you have your trash can and sink covers right underneath there. So they will be that same solid material on the sink covers. GE residential refrigerator, about 18 cubic foot. Does have a water dispenser in the door as well, but plenty of space inside there. And it will have the pull out freezer with an ice tray pantry that has a motion activated light so when you reach your hand up in there motion activated light shelves go about eight inches back or so then you're going to have this nice coffee station area here with a bunch more storage there as well this will be shelving that opens up another outlet here and an outlet up underneath here as well so just outlets everywhere all over this kitchen pull out drawers and shelving underneath here. Going into your hallway, you are going to have your um, central vac system here. So this is going to come with the hose that's under the bed that will reach the entirety of the length of the RV. Have your coat hook up, or coat hooks here to put your coats when you walk in, plus your, um, what is it called? Key hooks. <laughs> Gosh, I couldn't think of that. Your key hooks here. For when you walk in as well have a nice safety rail here to grab onto as you go up the steps and coming into the hallway you have an entrance to a pass-through bathroom and what i really like about this pass-through bathroom first of all this slide out extends all the way into the bathroom area so you get a lot of space in there and this is a fiberglass one-piece corner shower which is not as common a lot of corner showers are two-piece shower and you have the seat in there, which I love that. So this is about, you know, like what a material of an apartment or home shower would be, being that it's a one piece fiberglass shower and you have the seat in there. You also have a shower height for about six, five to six, six comfortably with the bubble in there. And the shower head at that height sits at about six, one or six, two. Close that up with that notch there. You're gonna have a porcelain toilet. So a nice quality toilet. And then you have more storage on this side as well with the fan up above you. You have your storage under the sink and pull out drawers next to it. Plus you have the medicine cabinet here as well. And then as a part of this slide out, this is really cool. All this additional storage they get extending the slide into the bathroom. So this opens up this space that gives you a huge amount of storage, or if you are looking for it, you can also get a washer dryer combo unit in that space as well. So it's gonna allow for that or just a ton of storage space. And then coming into the bedroom, you have a king size bed with a windshield. And just imagine you're not on an RV lot and you're at your campsite and you have your view out to the lake or the mountains or the beach or whatever it may be. Lots of storage there but just windows all the way around, giving you a great view of your environment. You're going to have a ton of bedside space here on this side with an outlet there. More shelving up above. Again, shelving above the window on this side as well. Outlet and USB port there for the person on this side of the bed. Then you have all your wardrobe storage all along here, plus a big countertop space. Privacy shade that will pull down within this track there to allow for privacy. When you're out at your campsite, 
and then this will be a big tall storage compartment in this area there. These also are very deep when you pull these open, so nice deep space, and then you will have shelving there as well. A spot for a TV on the wall right here, so you could put a pretty good sized TV right there. It's a really large space, or you could just put it on top of the dresser there, and then you'll have these four drawers that pull out, plus this one will be about the same size as the one under the windshield. Finally, the bed does flip up and you have storage underneath the bed, plus your central back hose. And that is just about everything. You got your AC in the bedroom as well, so two ACs. You can see the four vents that you got in there, so lots of good airflow. And that just about wraps this up. If you wanna see the longer form video of this Montana and get even deeper information about how it's built, things like that, go watch the longer form video. The link is in the description down below for that. And if you are interested in this RV, you can text me at the number on the screen or down below in the description. I am in a sales position, so I don't get any money for making these videos, but I do get paid when you come and buy an RV from me. So if you appreciate the work I put into these videos and would like to buy your RV from me, I would love to make that possible. Text me at the number on the screen there and I'll get a great deal for you on this RV or maybe any other RV that you've seen that you like. So text me there and I believe that's all I got for y'all. If I missed anything or there's something that you want to know that I didn't touch on, let me know down below in the comments and go check that other video out as well. And until next time, I'll see y'all out camping.